Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about spirals, everyone's favorite topic. And this is uh, just going to be kind of following my workflow on spirals. Uh, I generally come across them when I do Z remesher, when I remesh within ZBrush. And my workflow is usually sculpting a high poly in ZBrush and then either Z remeshing or then taking that model and having to go in to Maya and uh, retopologizing it there. To start off, I'm just going to take you guys through the whole thing and uh, I'll just start off with a sphere and just try to give you guys uh, a simple rundown of how this usually occurs. Smiling doesn't always just occur when using Z remesher. You can create spirals pretty easily by mistake when you're retopologizing by hand, but generally it, it it comes across with a remesher. And there are other ways to remesh uh, besides the remesher and the latest version of Maya has new tools to uh, retopologize uh, automatically, but I haven't tried out those tools yet and I don't know if they give you spirals or not. So. This is just a polysphere 3D and I'm going to just create uh, you know a whatever crazy shape and then I'll dynamesh and then Z remesh I'm going to inflate it a little bit so usually if you keep your model symmetrical, you're not going to have any problems with spirals. Z remesher is usually pretty good about um, analyzing and understanding a symmetrical mesh. All right. So I've dynameshed this whatever random shape this is. And now I'm going to go to Z Remesher. I'll just leave the default settings. Uh, this is my uh, custom UI. If you are new to all this, Z Remesher is under the geometry palette here, and there's a lot more settings. But I'm just going to keep the target poly count 5, which is short for 5,000 target poly count, although it always gives you more than that. And then I'm going to click Go Z and bring this into Maya. Now if I pull up Maya, you can take a look at this mesh and see if there are any spirals. It may have given us spirals. I might have to do this a couple times. Well, that's a clean loop. So it looks like it gave us fairly good... Nope, here's a spiral. But uh, not not what I would consider uh, generally to be a really bad one, because at least it has it, it doesn't loop around the model over and over and over. Spirals uh, generally, when I'm talking about spirals, is a, is a loop that doesn't cut off cleanly and will rotate around your model over and over and over again. And there's a bunch of reasons why you want to avoid them, uh, mainly because you want to modify your topology. If you want to add additional loops, it makes that nearly impossible, and it makes UVing your model almost impossible because you don't have clean loops. All right, so symmetrical mesh. We've got some strange loops in here, but nothing that I would really say is a, is a terrible spiral, and you'd have a pretty easy job uh, UVing this. So let's go back to ZBrush. I'll turn off symmetry. And I'll just make one side crazier. Let me turn Dynamesh back on. And I, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just trying to create a, um, some unorthodox asymmetrical shape that will hopefully give us a spiral to look at. 
All right, let's try Z remeshing this. And I'll hit go Z one more time. Continue. And I'll go back to Maya with our new shape. Let's look at some of these loops. Yep, there we go. First try. Here's a really bad one. So this is a spiral. It's a it's a non-terminating loop, or well, I guess it does terminate, but not cleanly, and it'll wrap all around your model. So if you were gonna, um, if you were gonna UV this, you could just select like, oh, I want to this have to be one UV tile, and I want this back half to be one UV tile. There's no clean loop that you could click on to then it, it, you know cut this up in the in the equal tiles you'd have to go through and say you know well i'll go well this looks like a good loop and then i'll have to kind of continue it here and then i'll have to continue it here oh, and then where does this one end up and it just ends up you try to connect this one to this one it ends up being a giant headache. And then if you wanted to say, well, I want more topology. I'm happy with the topology, but I want another loop. Um, let me go here. Multi-cut. I want another loop. Ooh. I don't even know what it's doing. Let me go back to object mode. Multi-cut. I think it's because I have this edge selected that it's giving me weird... Let me deselect my edges, object, multi-cut. So it's, this, this is behaving even stranger than I was expecting. It won't give me a clean cut anywhere. Oops. Let me try quad draw. Object mode, quad draw. Same deal. Really funky geometry. Oh. See, and then it, it gives me this very strange cut. So, the bad news is there is no easy way to fix this. I wish there was. Um, if you have this, you, you could go back to ZBrush and then try Z remeshing this again and again. And then hopefully over time, ZBrush would then be able to analyze this mesh. But every time you're, you're losing a little bit of uh, volume and uh, if this was more detailed, you would notice every time you Z-remeshed it, you were, you were losing detail. But you keep Z-remeshing. It looks like it's giving us a little bit cleaner loops the more you Z-remesh it. Let me Z-remesh one more time and see if we get a better result. Continue, hop back into Maya, and I'll just start selecting edges again. All right, so it's starting to give us a little bit more clean loops. Let's try some of these. Oh, not really. I think the best way to solve these problems with spirals is to just retopologize it by hand. And I know that's a big pain in the ass, but there really is no better solution. And you could try to um, keep Z remeshing and then retopology parts of it, but it's generally going to end up saving more time to do it the long way, uh, if that makes sense. So, uh, best practice, I would go back into ZBrush. If this, for example, was my high poly. I would uh, decimate it, or if it was low poly enough, I would then just export it and bring it into Zebra, or bring it into Maya. And then once I had it in Maya, I would make it a live surface appear, and then just go through and start making clean loops with Quad Draw. Hold Tab to extend an edge. Control to add a loop. And then once you have a clean edge, if you hold tab and then middle click, you can pull up a full uh, poly loop. And then bring this down. 
And this is a much safer way to retopologize. Start simple. Try to have an even number of uh, uh, of uh, verts for each loop, so it can be subdivided clean. And then you can terminate them cleanly down here in all quads. And you don't have to worry about crazy spirals that'll mess up your UVs or mess up your edge flow or give you crazy deformation if you try to rig something like this. All right. So that's the very brief overview of spirals and how much of a headache they are. Hopefully you guys don't uh, run into these that often, but I do because I use ZeroMesher a lot. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Please, uh, you know, leave me a like, share, subscribe, all that. And uh, if you have any questions about this or more stuff you want me to cover about it, leave a comment below. Catch you in the next one.